right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to find the side lengths of right triangles when you're only given an angle and a side. And we do that by using our trigonometric functions here, sine, cosine, and tangent. So now, if you're not familiar with how to use sine, cosine, and tangent to find the trig ratios, please see my, my video on um, trigonometric ratios, all right? And it'll give you a better understanding of um, trigonometric functions, okay? Because that's what we're going to use to solve these problems. So remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. And we use the acronym SOHCAHTOA. All right, so let's try these two examples here. So we want to find the length of X. All right, so we have an angle and we have a side here. And so in reference to this angle, we have the opposite side. And we have the adjacent side. So what function uses that, or what trig function uses? Opposite and adjacent. And so we see here that that is tangent. And so we could set up a trig ratio um, or an equation. So that's going to be the tangent of 54 degrees is equal to opposite. So the opposite side of that 54 degree angle is X. And the adjacent side is 9. And so once you set up your trig function, remember you have to use your ratios, you will simply solve for the given variable. So we want to solve for x. We can kind of look at it like it's a one-step equation, all right? So since this is this 9 is being divided, let me just erase this piece here. All right, since that 9 is being divided, I can multiply both sides by 9 to get the x by itself. So, all right cancels out over here. Now I'm left with 9 times tangent of 54 is equal to x. So I can just simply put that into my calculator. So now depending on what type of calculator you have, um, you may have to put in your trig function differently. So if I put in 9 times tangent 54, um, we'll just try this. Try typing in tangent of 54 first and see what you get. Try, type in your trig ratios first. So if I type in tangent of 54, I just get 54. All right, so um, I have to put it in a little differently on this calculator. But if I type in 54, 10, I get 1.3 and so forth. So in this particular calculator, which is the TI-30XA, so depending on your calculator, you have to type it in a little differently. So in this case, I have to do the degree first before I hit my trig function. So, and I can simply, since I have the tangent of 54 already in, I'm just going to multiply by 9, and I get 12.387, uh, and it kind of keeps going. So I'm going to round to the nearest uh, hundredth. So that would be 12.39 equals x. And so the length of this side here is 12.39, all right? Let's try this one here. All right, so in reference to this 46 degree angle, um, I have the hypotenuse and I have the opposite side. So I have opposite and the hypotenuse. And remember, how do we identify the hypotenuse? Well. We know that it is the hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. All right, so you may think, okay, this is, this is adjacent because it's next to it. But remember, hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. That takes precedence over um, the adjacent piece. All right, so I have opposite and hypotenuse. That is my sine function here. So my ratio would be sine of 46 degrees is equal to opposite. So in this case, my number is going to be at the top, my length. So opposite over hypotenuse. So I have to make sure I put it in that order. All right. So now I want to solve for x. All right. Since the x is being divided, I have to multiply both sides by x. All right. And if you watch the trig ratio video, you know that we're just going to end up dividing by 
our trig function. So if you remember to skip that step, you can, but this is just to show you why we're dividing instead of multiplying both sides. So um, you could solve it like you would any other, or the steps for the one-step equations with inverse operations. All right, so now I'm gonna type this in my calculator. 24, in this calculator I have to put 46 sine first, or my degree first, rather, all right? So 24 divided by, so I just hit the divided key, 46 sine and enter. Always make sure you hit enter. And so my X is equal to 33.36. And so the length of this side here is 33.36. All right, so we've solved these two problems using our trig ratios. All right, so I have two more triangles here that we want to find the side lengths for. Uh, this first one I'm going to do uh, with you, and I would like you to try this, uh, sec this second one on your own, all right? So this triangle here has uh, an angle of 35 degrees and a side length of 21. So in reference to that 35 degree angle, we have the adjacent side and we have the hypotenuse. Remember, opposite the, high, the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Again, we know that this side is adjacent, all right, but the hypotenuse takes precedence over that. And then our leg is what is adjacent. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. What trig function uses that? That is cosine. So we can set up our trig ratio because cosine has adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 35 degrees is equal to adjacent, so my x would be in the numerator, and hypotenuse is 21, all right, and so just solving this for x, the 21 is being divided, so I'm simply multiplying both sides by 21, I'm trying to fit it in right here, so that is 21 times cosine of 35 is equal to x, 21 is cancel out. So my calculator here, I'm going to type in 21 times 35 cosine equals, all right? Or you can do 35 cosine times 21. You know, it doesn't matter when you're multiplying what you put in first, all right? So and my calculator died here. What happened to it? Okay, there we go. My calculator's dying. All right, let me type that in again. Uh, 21 times cosine of 35. I'm messing up here. 35 cosine. So that's going to be 21. And my calculator is dying, so I'm going to have to cut this piece out. All right. So 21 times 35 cosine equals. 17.02. I'm glad I got it because my calculator is dying. So 17.02 is um, our next, our, our X for this problem here. All right. Um, so why don't you try this one on your own? Uh, we have a 27 degree angle and a side of 13 and we want to find X. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. All right, so you should have gotten 25.51 for your answer. Uh, so hopefully you got it correct. If not, please analyze my steps right here by simply just pausing the video. All right, and so for this particular problem, this should have been 17.2. As you recall, my calculator was dying, and so um, my numbers were slowly slowly fading away. So it should have been 17.20 in case you were um, doing the problems along with me. All right, so remember, when you um, have an angle and a given side and it is a right triangle, you can always use a trig function to find the, the missing side there. So again, right angle, an angle, and a side. You can use those trig functions, all right? So thank you for learning with me.